Hi, this is Gil Robles. Usually when I post a video on YouTube, it has uh, more to do with Sketchbook Pro. But of course, there are other programs out there. And um, I'm sure people are aware of Krita. This is a free program that you can download online. Um, it's a great program. I, I just became aware of it, and I'm just sharing it because if you don't have the money to shell out for a program, here you go. Here's something that's totally free. Um, you have a Windows version. You have a Linux version. You have a Mac version. The Mac version is a, at the experimental stage, but you can still go ahead and download it online and use it for if you have an operating system 10.9 or above. I don't know if there's anything above, but um, you're able to use it. So here is uh, Krita. You can see that the, there's a lot to this program when you open it up. Um, there's a lot of things over here on the left, the different types of programs you can, different type of uh, uh, things you can use it for. There's a comic template, design templates, and so forth. I, you can customize uh, your document. I have my width and height set up at 3,500 by 3,000. I also have it at a 400 DPI, so I can get a very very good image now it's customizable if you want it higher than that um, you can go ahead and set that up I, I'm poking around this program because I'm not entirely familiar with it yet this is only the second time that I've used it um, and this is the second test that I'm doing this just to kinda introduce it on my YouTube channel and so if you're not aware of it you can go ahead and uh, look at it yourself. Now there's, like I said, there's other programs. Only, I only found three which I was really happy with as far as what's available online for free. Um, I'm, I'm just playing with the, with the, this uh, setup right here and exploring a little bit. Like I said, this is only the second look I've had on this program. So there's a lot for me to catch up to. However, whenever you open up one of these programs um, the paint programs are, are similar you know you have your layers your color editors your brushes and it's a matter of um, is it you know the layers have all the properties all the modes that um, you would find in these other good programs like sketchbook pro or photoshop or corel or whatever you have and you know the the brushes you see up on the top right that uh, those are properties for the brushes which you can customize um, once there, there's a ton of brushes to choose from so you can take those brushes you can customize them according to what you want to work with there's also a huge community for Krita Online. That's another good thing about Krita is that there's a lot of support for it. You can go to the website. You can join a community. You can also explore some of the things that are available on the website for this program. Like there's a tutorial that's available. Now, the program is free. The tutorial, I believe, is about 40 60 bucks. It's a video tutorial to help you go around um, the program but you can also join the community and uh, see if you can get any questions at, answered there I'm also sure that this program has been around for quite a bit so I'm sure that there are other YouTube uh, videos that are devoted to this and uh, YouTube has been a big help that's how I learned Sketchbook Pro even though it's it's not that hard to learn there's not a big learning curve and over here it has a, a lot of the similar things you have a huge brush library that's one thing um, you have your color editor which is great you have the layer editor which uh, like I said has all the things that you would want the layer edit all the features that you would want the layer editor to have um, so I believe I, I haven't explored it yet but I believe you have all the different blend modes and you can of course control the um, opacity of your layer um, so I'm poking around I'm just trying to 
look at uh, how I can set up this um, the interface so that I can uh, work comfortably with this program and um, uh, I'm poking around the software right now um, getting ready to in a little in a few minutes just to start a little demo of a painting um, but you know like I said it's free and it's free and it's great it's packed with a lot of stuff so you can't go wrong if you don't have the money to purchase something that's uh, co costs a lot more or a little more because to be honest um, Sketchbook Pro doesn't cost a lot neither does uh, programs like Art Rage which is another great program uh, programs like um, Mischief another great program but um, you know the thing is that this is you can't be free and you can't be free and really good, which is what this program is. Um, so I I, uh, I would recommend downloading it and exploring it and uh, um, playing with it. You know, that right now um, I like to set up uh, something where I have everything in front of me. You know, that's the way I, I usually work traditionally. I have my uh, palettes, my paints, and so forth in front of me uh, within easy reach. And that's what I'm trying to do right now uh, is set up in a way where before I start working, I have it, I don't have to look around for everything. I know exactly where everything is. And um, so I'm having a little trouble with the. I mean, the, the interface is customizable, so you can move around these floating windows I'm just having a little trouble deciding where everything is going to go. Now, also there are some presets, you know, and you can you can try those to see what works for you. Uh, this is a painting preset that this is it right here, and this really works fine for me. You know, you have the layer and the color editor on the right. You have the brushes and the other tools on your left, so you know where to go for what you want now if you would like you can also take the canvas and move to full screen and I know some people like to work on full screen and so forth I don't I like to have everything in front of me like I said but that's entirely up to you that's a uh, personal preference um, so here you go I'm starting this painting um, chose I'm gonna work with about uh, three brushes that are here um, and uh, one of the things is that I, Sketchbook Pro has a brush that I like it's called the cor coarse angular brush and it has kind of like a dry brushy look that when when I'm done usually resembles a oil sketch um, I don't see it here yet however there's a lot of brushes to explore I can if I if I don't find it I know that I can create it once I find out how to customize these brushes and create my own brushes and so forth and when, like I said uh, the, with the community online um, there are people who have created brushes you can go ahead and, and go on the Krita website and look at the brushes that were created by other people and you're able to download those if you find something that you like you can also look on the website and look at the work that's been done with this program and you can find some very very nice paintings now I'm working the way I normally would work in the you know, on these programs what I'm looking for is like I said I have uh, the the layers where I can vary the transparency what I usually do is I open up a layer I work on it then I open up another layer on top of it I vary the transparency so that um, when I add the color on top of it it's uh, eye glazing and, and um, either making the color underneath it warmer or cooler or um, helping to smooth the transition between that one value to another you know I, I still like this chunky painterly look and so I want the brush strokes to show so it, it looks like a like an actual painting and not a digital painting but um th this is doing the trick now I I, I like I'm kinda missing that brush in sketchbook pro but that's okay 
uh, it's it this one is, is working just fine and like I said if I don't find one comparable to that I can always create it so, so this is a sketch and it's just gonna be a, a, a quick sketch I'm not going to worry about bringing this to finish I'm just more concerned about uh, sharing online the fact that this software is extremely good and that um, you know it, it's it's also very easy to use doesn't have the same ease of use that uh, sketchbook pro does but neither does any other program at least not to my knowledge but this 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 is not difficult to use it, it one of the main things is it's just that there's a lot here and which is a great which is a plus for it um, well, one of the other things too is I, I'm not going to be able to show this entire painting uh, at the finish my uh, recorder kind of gave out halfway through the painting so what I was able to preserve I'm, I'm sharing with you um, and uh, this is it so anyway uh, I'm going to also make separate videos where I'm going to share some of the other software that I found that is also available for free online I just started with Critter because I believe Critter was the best out of the three that I downloaded there are more than three but um, three that I was I was very happy with more than the other ones that I saw and um, these three work fine that's um, Critter that's my paint and also smooth draw now I chose these one um, because of what the program has because I, I wanted to be able to put up a, a, a decent image at a high resolution and also that the program would be easy to use now there's more free programs online you can certainly get GIMP which is like the free alternative to Photoshop that's available online um, I've tried GIMP before. It's it's fine, but it, it it's not as exciting and as as these three programs that I'm introducing. At least not for my taste. Now I'm sure there's people who have done terrific work with GIMP and and can tell me no 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 I I really like it a lot. But that's fine. This is these are the things that to to my taste and to uh. The work that I do I found more comfortable to work with now there you know there are other programs of course I, I mostly have been posting videos on sketchbook pro uh, one of the things that as I'm going to show right here is that you have a lot of options as to how to save your uh, your image you see you have a uh, critter you have tiff you have PNG you have JPEG you have Photoshop document and a bunch of other stuff I'm not sure what it is but um I mean if you want to preserve the layers and continue to work on it you can save this as a critter document you can save it as a TIFF document which I like I'm not sure if it's well this painting only has one layer when I'm done with it but if it had more layer I'm not sure if it would preserve all the layers so you can bring it into uh, um, sketchbook pro but you can save it as a photoshop document and then you can preserve the layers and bring it into photoshop at least that's the theory I believe you can I haven't tried it yet uh, but that's just one of many things to try um, but if you want to continue working in you can still save it as a critter document and preserve all the layers um, so here once again here are all the things that you can save it as you know so there you have it Krita is a great free application available online I would recommend it that you go ahead and download it it's well worth it and it's free you can't beat that you know here's the final painting again not finished it's just for the just for the demonstration purposes please subscribe to my channel or join me on my blog, artandbusyworld.blogspot.com. Thank you.